Hey, hello Reckoners, and welcome back. Today's indie game is Rubber Ducky and the Rainbow Gun. This game is awesome because it it's almost like Frog Fractions 1.5. There's a bit of genre shifting. Each of the levels plays a little differently, and there's kind of that find the secret per level type thing that I really, really like. So... I'm going to play through each of the levels, and I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to focus mostly on where the secrets are, while kind of describing, I'm probably not going to do, so basically, let me start from the beginning. You, when you first boot this game, you only have this level unlocked. To unlock some of these last few levels, you have to have obtained white check marks and red check marks. The white check marks indicate I find the secret for the level, the red check mark means I beat the level without taking any damage. Um, the white ones are the tricky ones, the red ones are generally pretty straightforward. You unlock weapons as you go, but you can backtrack and use weapons to do previous levels. So I'm going to show you the first level. Well known fact that ducks can move with A and D and with space jump twice, once in midair. Verily it is. It is well known enough, actually, that new purveyors of the fact know to scribble it down in their personal notebooks, marveling at how useful it could be even within a few short... Well known by whom, I wonder? In fact, Rubber Ducky was no exception. It was well he was A and Ding, in fact, that he found a rainbow gun. It was a cloudy day in the cloud place. No rain was predicted, but light showers of colored weaponry were in the forecast. And what luck? There, lying on the ground, was a rainbow gun. Gasp. Plainly, it stated it was both a left and right mouse button rainbow gun. Indeed, said again. What luck? What duck? Oh, what luck, said his friend Mr. The Tree. Why not go about... This is what I sound like when I try to voice act. ...spikies that love so much to be zapped with rainbow guns. Why not indeed? ...so much. In fact, they would most likely leave in a teleportation burst to go tell the rest of the... Is that what happens? Of course, though. Be careful of them getting too excited and poking you. Don't However, want to get poked. Remembered, ...they still are spikies. Such treachery. ...ducky first went because everyone knows that beaches... Beaches. So, we got our rainbow gun. This is the first one you do. You got a left click, you got a right click. I'm gonna switch weapon four, or three? Three. Three like you swing a yak. I don't really know what you're doing. Um, you also have this gun. This gun is your best friend. And you can do both at the same time. The reason this gun's your best friend is see those little like yellow smiley faces that fly out of guys when you shoot them? Those heal you when you get hit. Like you can't die in this game. But at the top middle, you may observe uh, this check mark. Basically, you know, if you take no damage, you get the red check mark. And that's how you get the red check mark. Uh, so those yellow smiley faces restore those check marks. Which is very, very important on higher levels. Also, swinging this yak like a non stop is a pretty invincible strategy. <laughs> Um, unless you're, if you're standing still, things basically can't hit you. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so first secret. You fall here, land here, you're on the island, and that's the secret. We did it. Boom. And we're gonna fall in the- oh, there's more. I forgot there were more. Good thing I've got a yak. Yeah, the gameplay is not the best thing about this game. It's about this. So this thing, it's frustrating because the first time you pass through it, you are going to get neither the secret, nor the perfect score. Um, basically, you can look at the hints for the levels, and those will tell you how to do the perfect scores. They won't really tell you about the secrets. Um, sometimes, though, doing one gets the other, as is the case with this one. To do this, you have to purchase the penguin suit, which you will almost certainly have gotten enough coins in the first level to do, and you equip it, so we are a penguin. A penguin. Ducky soon found himself in Snowland. Hooray! This is the home of the teleporting penguins. Oh. Do they ever love piano? Do they? Snow? This snow is very special because every snowflake is the exact same. Frankly, that's because the developer was not one tenth as creative as God was when he made snow. There's at least ten kinds not of snowflakes. Special snow or not, it is still snow. And snow is cold. Everyone knows Rubber Ducky doesn't like to get cold. I didn't know that. So, Ducky, I have made the snow slow enough that you may walk in between it. Say hi to the penguins for me. Yeah, that's a load of crap. Basically, um... Those snowdrops are gonna do damage to you. Uh, and you maybe could dodge them. But getting hit by them while the penguin gets a secret, and you don't take damage. So you can basically sit here. Now that snowfall doesn't hurt you, it just obscures your vision. So, this level's 
really, really gimmicky because you just need that penguin suit and, you know, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just going, I'm going over here because that's what the exit for the level is going to be. And that's all I need to do. Um, it's a little silly. Okay, the next level. Um, oh, what is it? I can't remember how you learn this. But at some point, the game explicitly tells you that you can right-click on levels to play them without um, having any spikies in them. Sometimes that's as straightforward as it sounds. On some levels, uh, it drastically changes the nature of the level. So we're going to right-click on this one to get the secret. If we shoot the rainbow, they bounce off the walls. It's a bounce house of fun. They go and it's crazy. Um, theoretically, this you can also use this to get the Steam achievement for having the game run at less than 30 frames per second. Um, I had a different way I did it. Um, let's be this level first. Ducky decided to go visit the jungle. And I'll show you what it's about. This is the land of the floating lizards. Floating. The floating lizards are a great bunch of lizards. So great. Everyone knows they love rainbow. I didn't know that. Exploding banana. I skipped this in my playthrough before. A rather large crop of exploding bananas handy so they could ah. give them to anyone. Knowing they wouldn't mind, Rubber Ducky grabbed one on his way into the jungle. These bananas are great. If you they actually to suck. Them while they're already in the air, they also come with a banana blower on them, meaning they the banana blower is pretty good. Bananas. It's this just kind of overshadowed by the yak. Two emblazoned on it. Tech savvy people can program these bananas to be able to be used. This is the first uh, alternate weapon you get. Sometimes they can even program the ability to switch back to your rainbow gun with one. See, Ducky, I've done this for you. Whoa, you are you so such a skilled programmer, strikes. man. They'll probably like it as much as your rainbow gun. And, well, the lizards will too. The lizards will not respond, in fact. So gray speckies are invincible. We're still just going to use number four. Okay, ah, well, so here's the banana. Boom. Boom. Here's the alternate fire. Um, this level's really hard to get flawlessly unless you have um, this gun. Because dodging these gray guys later on can get pretty hard. I, I spent a fair amount of time on this level thinking the puzzle revolved around doing something with the lizards. Like I put on the lizard skin. It's all a red herring. I already should do the secret. But... Yeah, so this is my strats for that. So these are going to hit me. At least one of these is going to hit me. Oh no, they hit me. And we're back. So pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty straightforward. We're still a penguin. I should switch to something cooler. Let's switch to an invisible one. No, that guy is cool but hard. Let's go to see-through. See-through is cool. This level. Ugh, do I remember anything about this level? Oh, yes. So we're going to switch to the number five weapon, which you get later. Did I right-click? I totally did, like an idiot. You don't want to right-click, you want to left-click. Both of the secrets Tornadoes are left-click on this one. Hit with everyone. A are they? Was going to happen today I didn't know that's what exciting. this level was. I decided that going to the tornado would be a lot of fun. I'll bet the teleporting penguins will be there. Everyone knows they love tornadoes. Suddenly, Ducky had an idea. Boom. Why not go find a stretchy yak smack? There are always a lot of This bombs. is where you get the Ducky good gun. Found a box with a stretchy yak smack. I think. Everyone knows that stretchy yak smacks are gifted to those who this want like them by Dr. Ducky. Seuss. And this one has a rock candy launcher. Rock candy. Well, this will just be great. A yak smack will help a lot with all those spikies, seeing as all particles tend to fly away in a tornado. Did you know that, Ducky? All particles will go distinctly left in a tornado. The wind is whipping up. I am ready. So I actually haven't tried the yak pack in this level. I'm just going to use the Gorham missile launcher because it's... I don't know. I've done it consistently with the missile launcher. The only thing you have to notice is when you fire it down is it propels in opposite direction. So you can it can get you too close to a spiky. Because these the, the nasty thing with these rockets is they do have an AoE. So you can hurt yourself if you shoot a target that is too close to you. But for the most part, we're just going to go in a circle. And things will be hunky-dory. Uh, near the end, there's going to be a lot of spikies from all the sides. A rainbow spiky will appear. Let's shoot him for the secret. Um, I mean, we're going to destroy all the spikies, so we'll hit him by default. You might not see him. I might just turn him so fast and so skilled. Uh, there we got him. And we did it. Flawlessly in terms of damage. Cool. The music level. I think we want to right-click on this one. And then we're going to go off to this side. Yes, and things are upside down, and that's that secret. But we're going to do it normally. The accordion thought Ducky might like to see French Place, and he was right. 
French place is a pretty awesome place. Pretty awesome place. It's known for having very good street musicians. In fact, the accordion plays in an accordion trio that practices in French place. It looks like some gray spikies are coming around. This will be great, Ducky. You can slide underneath them. Oh, Ducky, have you forgotten that you can slide? I had not sure that if you press down and over, you can slide. In fact, you can slide as far as you hold over. And look, Ducky, a teleporting penguin is coming to visit French place too. Perhaps he'll join you for a while afterwards as well. Penguins are great for sliding along the ground. He'll be a lot of help when talking about bugs. Oh yeah. And being left and right click penguins, they can freeze anything in their tracks with their penguin blowers. Blow oh, penguin. Ducky, speaking of bugs, the bug brigade is here too. They'll stop uh, by yes. sometime. The bug brigade. Yes, yes, we have things. We don't care about things. We're going to use bananas. Basically, this level's pretty boring in the beginning. Because you don't have to, because you can hold down forever. You just hold down forever. You don't have to like time these dodges like with jumps or whatnot. You just kind of wait for them to go away. And we're using the blower. We could be using the yak. It doesn't really matter. Eventually some spikers are going to come into our banana blowing field. Pop, pop, pop. It's like a flamethrower. It's just, it's, it's a very uh, potent weapon. As you can see, it goes through things, which is like these spikies, which is nice. Um, trying to think, what other useful tidbits could there be about this level? The upside down thing, the accordion. I spent a lot of time messing with the accordions, thinking I had to do something. Uh, give me a penguin? No, it's not a penguin. We're gonna use the penguin. There we go. Penguin, so he goes BAM! Just chews through them. He's pretty awesome that way. You can use the mouse wheel to switch. Okay, so we're halfway done. Or more than halfway done. Let's go to the asteroid level. Um, I believe right-clicking does nothing, but right-clicking is useful for getting the secret, so we may do that later. In space, you can find many things. Mm. You can find rocks. Probabilistically, you, you find won't. Big rocks, and you can find the developer. Hi what? there, Ducky. I'm the developer. How are you enjoying the game so far? It's peachy. See, I dropped in to tell you a couple things, being that we're just about at the halfway point already. Ducky, I realized that this game is very short. Actually, it's sort of an interim project gone awry. Oh. Did you know that this game was supposed to be a week-long project? I didn't. Ducky, it got out of hand. But I'm glad of it. Me too. But that does not change how short it is. If you say so. So, from here on out, I'm going to give you a challenge. Go on. To keep progressing in this game, Ducky, you will need to rack up perfects on some of the levels. A perfect score means finishing the level with a red check mark. Oh my. To get level 7, for instance, you will need one perfect score. To get the rather spunky Badlands, you will need three. To get Machine World, you'll need five. And for level 10... Actually, bum, bum. that's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. See, level 10 is sort of a secret. Oh. To get it, you will need to find the secret hidden in each of the other nine levels. Here's a hint for the beach. Drop down those holes. We don't need that the hint. End of space, I'm also going to give you the rocket blurb, which is the last... That's the one I just used in the uh, tornado Are level. Are you ready for space? Space! Space! Uh, we need... No, we need... Yeah, there we go. Why is the game lagging for me? That's weird. Um, normally it runs pretty smoothly. It's a very simple game. We're using this because it's the all-around protector. We just gotta watch out for these guys coming at us. If we get our perfect score, oh, we gotta shoot that guy. Ah, we got him. Cool. Oops, I messed up. Um, so you can hit him. He has to be, the asteroid has to be shot with the rainbow weapon, as far as I can tell. I mean, this weapon does not work. Maybe it's just too little damage, I don't know. So I took damage during it, but this wall puts him back up to full health, so you can clearly easily get the secret and the red check mark in the same go. Um, the reason stuff like this is important, oh god, there's more of you. The reason stuff like this is important is because there is a speed run achievement in this game, which is a reasonable time limit, but you need to be able to, you know, do things in two runs like that. So this level, I'm not going to do it here. Ducky made it to the digital second. place. The digital place is rather quiet. It has no music, but it does have a lot of spikies. Ducky, if I may, I might suggest using the rocket blurp. Also, Ducky, and I know I'm off topic here, but did you know that you can also here we go any of the levels on the menu? Because I did listen to some of the dialogue. It will go to that monologue, level, but without any spikies. 
you can just chill out with all of your non-spiky friends. See, Ducky, this is so you can listen to the music easily. Some of the secrets can be found this way. Some secrets are unique to these non-spiky levels. Game changer. For instance, a secret can be found by jumping in a certain area in the digital place, but only in the right-click non-spiky version of the level. Anyhow, have fun in the digital place. I will. And everyone knows you have to stand on top of the screen pile before you... Ah. Uh, it's by far the best part. And how. So we're going to use Rocket Blurp, like he says. So this level is the level I used to get the game to run at less than 30 frames per second by using the penguin thing to just freeze all these guys until there are so many on screen, the game actually crashed. You still get the Steam achievement, and it's kind of funny. But I think it's probably better just to use the, the bounce house right-click lizard level because it's a little more containable, controllable. But yeah, this level's pretty much just as easy as the penguin level. You just gotta shoot everything. Boom! Screens! That's the screens. Gotta stand on them. We're standing on them. And now we're out of here. Out of sight! I'm gonna do the thing he said. We're gonna right click and we're gonna jump. And we're gonna jump again! Ho! Oh, that's the secret! Yep. Pretty friggin' nifty. You can escape to get out of any of these levels. Uh, what is this level? Ducky was in a hurry to get to the machine world, but he decided to pass through the rather spunky badlands. I don't remember. The rather spunky badlands are fairly cool, but Ducky didn't have any time to hang around, so he decided to go right through. Ah, Mr. The Tree is coming to join you for a while. And the floating lizards are dropping by too. Oh, what a jolly visit this will be to the rather spunky badlands. However brief. Oh, this level. Okay, yes. So the secret here is to go just to the left. You can jump in the middle, that's that secret. And then getting across here is you're gonna take a lot of damage. But you can just stand here and get your health back, right? Right? That's how we do it. Are we getting our health back? Can we not do that if we take full damage? Let's try this again. Ducky with Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh I wish we could go at full speed at this accursed lag. Boom! Uh, okay, we made it without taking too much damage. Can we heal up? Okay, now we can heal up. I guess if you take full damage, it's given into a wash. Okay, so we took no damage. We were healed back up, rather. And that's that level. Very short, as they described it. This one, I believe, just left click only. Ducky was in the machine world. Machine world. They make metal squares here. Squares. Everyone likes metal squares. There are tons of. Fun. Mm. Squares are a lot more fun when you get six of them together and make them cubes. Really, Ducky, I don't know what else to say. Like well, companion other cubes. Than the secret level, this is the last level. Oh, 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 I know. How about some trivia? Lay it on me, man. Your graphic was originally the wall graphic. It was gonna be a strange game. To so play on a giant Ducky? The Rocket Blarp is actually a gun from a different game that I started uh. and never finished. A blarp, by definition, is a gun that fires 60 bullets a second and has a wide spread of accuracy. Okay. Three, I like tacos, ducky. A bold Mr. statement. We found a taco lover here. Trivia is fun. It frankly, is, I really usually. don't have much of it. Dang it, man. Well, ducky, I won't keep you from the machine world any longer. We can talk more in the secret level. Excellent. Okay, as usual, we're going to bring out our buddy... Wackety Yak Yak Man. That's his name. Wackety Yak Man. This level has the best music. I think. It's got pretty good music. So if you're really pro, you can try switching between weapons really fast, but again, there's not a lot of point when you got this kind of OP stuff going on. So the secret level is basically just an infinite mode to the game, and I recommend using the Yak if you want to... So, so, so this... Okay, we gotta switch to Rainbow Gun for this. Pew 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 pew! That's the secret is shooting that guy. He's a boss, apparently. Oh, this way. This is the exit, is it? Whee! We did it! Okay, so we beat the game. Um... Yeah, speedrun mode basically starts you from scratch, and you have to get at least, I think, 7,000 points on here. There's an achievement for getting more than 2,500, I think. Um, it's really, really easy. Um, I basically just stop because I get bored. So, yeah, this game's great. Right now it's priced at a dollar on Steam, which I think is well worth the cost of admission. Um, over here, basically you get coins, like you can see. Come over here, 
And you can drop things with the coins. There is an achievement for placing, I believe, a hundred of these. But other than that achievement, they don't do anything. And it's the only way to get rid of coins once you've purchased all the little skins. So yeah, that was Rubber Ducky and the Rainbow Gun. I hope you guys liked it. This was just a short little episode to pad out. Um, actually, it wasn't that short at all. This is a, a good length episode to, um, you know, bring in the new year. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Signature catchphrase.